Aquarius, you have big opportunities, maybe love or new creative projects or just manifesting whatever you want. But like Ace of Cups, this is big and this is for April. So you need to get ready to invite in more abundance, more love, but only when you decide to let go of the people who don't want to commit. The people, the projects who are trying to scam you or steal from you or take your credit and not properly support you. Like, we do not have time. We don't have time for the bullshit. You really don't. Not where you're going. Like, you have so much. I've got Six of Wands, Ace of Cups, King of Cups, and the Three of Wands. Like, you have big opportunities for expansion, money, resources, finances, love, support, um, some of you connecting with real people who are actually ready to provide you with what you've wanted up until now from other people, but maybe they can't afford it or they can't provide you or they can't commit or they're just, I don't know, there's something about this old situation where it's like, they're either lying, cheating, stealing, scamming, or they're just pretending that they're, you know, I'm a big shot, uh -huh, I'm cool. And it's just like, bitch, you're not. Like, I'm sorry, and it's so clear now. It's like, oh my God. So like, I think maybe some of you have invested a lot of time, energy, money into this situation or this cycle. Maybe that's why you felt like you were obligated. Maybe like you felt like you had to stay. You wanted to just commit and support and continue. And it's just like, no. Now it's so clear that this or something about this situation is changing. And now maybe you're establishing new rules, new structures, new boundaries. And if that person can adjust themselves and they can match it, fine. But if they can't, don't accept a bullshit offer or a bullshit apology when you know you deserve more than that anyways. You know what I mean? So like be really specific about what you want to invite into your life, who you want to be working with, who you want to be spending your time, energy, money, focus, and attention on. It's like, you need to be careful because some people are maybe taking advantage of you or up until now have been taking advantage of you and now you understand that and you're ready to say, fuck that, I'm not continuing this kind of bullshit because I deserve more, bitch. And like, what you're giving me is not stable enough. I've got the Queen of Pentacles reverse. It's just not stable enough. It's not enough money, it's not enough resources, it's not enough commitment, or you say you'll do this, this, and this, but you never actually match it. It's just like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, and maybe some of you feeling like, wow, I feel so taken advantage of, I feel so tricked, and it's like, why did I do that? Chariot reverse, why did I value this for so long? Why did I try to make this work for so long? It's like, eh. And like, whatever, accept that. You learned the lesson, now you're leveling up. And with the three of wands, like you have new opportunities for expansion, community, connections, and they're coming anyways. Whatever. Yeah, bitch. You've got the strength card. We've got judgment here. It's time to stand in your power and make a decision that supports your future and not supporting other people who don't see you in their future anyways. It's like, how does that make sense? You're trying to figure out how to make something work with your future and that person involved in your future, but they don't really see you involved in their future or they don't want to do the work to make sure that you are automatically involved in their future. It's like, this bitch, I feel like it's just lazy or there's just something about this project that doesn't match. It doesn't sit right. So like, no, it's time for you to rise like a phoenix from the ashes. It's like the fire is exploding and we are dying and we are now birthing a new identity. You have a new opportunity to make a big decision. And I'm hearing for some of you, letter M, um, C, also a D coming through, seven, whatever, enough of that. But for some of you, I think or I feel like you maybe you should have already decided this in the past and now with the judgment card, you have a second opportunity. And strength card, I think you need to take that opportunity and decide what is best for yourself, okay? We've got Ace of Wands here reverse, Two of Swords here reverse, and the Three. Yeah, this is going to take a minute. Three of Cups, no, sorry, Three of Coins reverse, and the Death card here reverse. This is going to take a minute. I don't think that you can, like, 
yes, you can decide what is best for yourself and you can start planning your exit strategy. You can start planning how to leave this situation. But I don't think that, you know, through April, 100% we're gonna be done. We are done, disconnected, I am ready to jump. It's like, maybe you're ready to jump and yes, the universe will bring you everything you need to make sure that you can actually leave. But like, there's something about this that there's a little bit of a delay. Maybe you still need to go, you know, pick up things from their house or you still need to like deliver something for that project before you can wrap it up and cut them off for the next. It's like, there's something about that but you've got the page of cups here reversed with the three of cups. Like when you say no, at least energetically, at least the universe is going to see you decide, okay, like fuck that. I'm not continuing to invest my time, energy, money, my focus onto this person or this project, whatever. I'm saying no. When you say no, the three of cups will show up and you will find more expansion and support from other people in your community. Like, almost automatically. I feel like it'll happen like sooner than you expect. Now the lovers reverse and the page of swords here. Yeah, with the eight of pentacles. Okay, and we've got, oh Lord. Lovers reverse, page of swords, eight of coins reverse, and the five of coins with the five of wands. Whew. This could be a little bit overwhelming. <laughs> there could be some relationships or people that you're like, oh my God, I know I can't stay here. I need to change this situation. I need to release myself from these people or this project or whatever. But I'm scared because there's like inner conflict. I feel like I have so many different opinions or perspectives, maybe flying around. Maybe other people are trying to tell you something and you're like, ah, oh, but that... I understand what you're saying. It makes sense. Logically, yes, it makes sense. I understand your perspective. I really, I understand it and thank you. But like inside, it just feels wrong. If I follow your advice, it still feels wrong. It's like, fuck. So like this eight of coins reverse is really you understanding that you don't want to invest your energy into this person or this project and that page of swords. You already have this new perspective that is like implanted and now it's like, oh, I can't get rid of that. And like, how do I get rid of that? You don't need to get rid of it. You need to get rid of this person or this situation because it's already not equal. It's not, it's just not. Some of you may be dealing with another air sign or Gemini or a Virgo, but like five of coins, five of wands, this is a lot of drama or a lot of conflict, a lot of like scarcity. Maybe it's not you. Maybe it's the other person and they have a lot of drama. They have a lot of bullshit. They have a lot of lack mentality or whatever. Or like, oh, I feel left out. You ignore me or this or that. Or it's just like, I don't know what it is. I don't care, but it's not healthy for you and it's not good for you and it's not benefiting you and your growth and expansion. So why the fuck are you spending your time, energy, money and focus on this person for what or this project get rid of it you've got the king of wands here and the ace of pentacles bitch what's the issue you have opportunities for expansion you have new money honey you have new resources you have new um habits ideas whatever you want to invest your time energy money into this new cycle the opportunities are coming. The universe will bring you more opportunities than you can imagine right now, but you can't accept that because you're still distracted or consumed with this bullshit. So it's like you have to let this go so you have more available space, okay? Let it go. Two days ago, we just had a full moon in Libra, an air sign, so you would be feeling that also. And it's like, go click on the link in my bio, take the full moon workshop. I will help you clear out all of this bullshit. And then you have more available space for the new. Okay, it's also pay what you can. Like, come on, come on. You got the moon reverse here. There's a lot of deep psychological subconscious energies that we're letting go of. So old ideas about what we think we deserve, how we need to accommodate other people, all the old stories or ideas that you tell yourself over and over again. It's like, that is what we're letting go of. Some of you are letting go of a Pisces or a Cancer, but like there's just a lot of emotion here. And of course there's a lot of emotion because you valued this person, you valued this project and you tried everything. And now I think you're like, 
I don't want to give up, but like, bitch, you didn't give up. There's a difference between giving up and trying everything and it still doesn't work. You know what I mean? So like, stand in your power, Empress and Aries. Sorry, this is Aries energy. Yes, this is the Emperor. This is the Empress. It's like, look, look what you're trading out. Look, okay. This bullshit that doesn't work. This doesn't work. For a real king and queen couple. Real king and queen couple. Okay? So, like, you're not losing anything. You're not losing anything. You're actually leveling up. It's like you're going to find another person or find another boss or find another project and they will value you more and they will have the resources. They will have the commitment. They will have their shit together and they will know how to act responsibly and how to take control of what needs control taken. It's like this lover's reverse, there's something about this project or the situation or this person or whatever that's like, they can't afford you. They can't give you what you need and your needs have changed and adapted as you've continued to grow over the last while. So it's like, why the fuck are you spending more, sorry, wasting more time with this person or this project? It doesn't make sense. Like, let it go. Nine of Cups reverse. Two of Cups reverse. I get it. Boo-hoo. Like, bitch, do you know how many people I've let go? Do you know how many people I've let go of? It's like, you just have to. And the universe will always bring you someone better, will bring you a better opportunity. And like, Temperance reverse with the World card here, we're still processing a lot of the emotions. We're still letting go and feeling overwhelmed with a lot of the emotions. We're still feeling like, wow, I can't. Believe. I feel like some of you also are like, I feel so stupid that I like put this person on a pedestal and I looked up to them for so long and now I just feel stupid. And it's like, if I drop them, then I really need to accept the fact that I put this person on a pedestal and I made them this thing. And it's like, now I feel dumb. So it's like, whatever. You're going to feel stupid if you finally accept the fact that you need to let this situation go. Or you're going to feel more stupid if you continue to invest more time and energy into the situation. So like, which do you prefer? You know what I mean? Drop it. And with that two of cups here, this person isn't on your level. It's like, they're just not. Nine of wands. I also feel like you maybe need to actually like protect yourself from that person's energy, like block them or disengage. Like this is set up an actual like barricade of some kind, like seven of wands reverse with the page of cups. I feel like they're maybe gonna come back. I feel like they're gonna say, oh, okay, well, if you don't accept that offer, then how about this offer? And it's just like, it's not even the offer, it's you. It's your energy, it's you. And like, thank you for your apology, thank you for your offer, but I'm gonna say no. I don't want to explain. I don't want to expand and defend myself. I'm tired of explaining. I'm exhausted. I don't want to continue going in circles and the same thing. It's just like, I just don't want that. And now I understand that. So I want to level up and I want to start a new chapter, start a new cycle. And like some of these people just, yeah, I'm sorry. They just can't. It's like two of coins and the magician reverse. I feel like you see their potential and you fell in love or you committed to their potential, but they don't see their own potential. And like, trust me, I've experienced that a hundred times with friends, with lovers, with family, whatever. I see your potential. I really see your potential and I wanna stay here and support your growth and expansion, but you don't see your potential. That's the fucking problem. You don't see your own potential and you're lazy and you don't wanna get up every day and do the hard work. You want me to always cheer you on and support you and encourage you and it's like, bitch, I'm drained. I can't do that anymore. So like, fucking figure it out. Okay, sorry, bye. And yeah, that's it. I'm like, that's it. That's really clear, I think, okay? So um, if you need help releasing these people or these projects or these energies, go now, click on the link in my bio, take the full moon workshop. The full moon was two days ago, okay? And it's pay what you can. It's under 30 minutes, it's a home video. You have no excuse. Go take the workshop. I will help you clear it out. Okay, I love you. If you want to be involved in the free personal reading giveaway, just tag your friends below and share this on your Instagram. And yeah, that's it. I love you, Aquarius. I will see you next month. Ciao, Bella.